Greetings and salutations, brownies. Welcome to another episode of Just Jazz Blogs. Today we're going to keep it simple. We're not going to go anywhere. We're going to do this old school with the camera and me being stationary. And yeah. Anyway, regular vlogs and podcasts will resume kind of sort of next week. It's the 4th of July, so I'm not quite sure how I want to upload. Anyway, let's get into the content of the video. Last week, I was at VidCon. It was my first one, and I had so much fun. I met so many people. I fangirled so hard. Let me tell you the main reason why I'm making this video. I stayed at a Marriott, and there were several issues with my hotel. Everything had been paid for way back in the day, and at least six months prior to when this event was happening. Um, when I get there, things at the hotel were fine in the beginning. But then they had some issues with my payment method. And that's when things went wrong. It got to the point where I had to call corporate and everything else. Corporate for the Marriott. So what basically happened was... One of the nights that I went to swipe my card to go back in my room, it wasn't working. And when I went downstairs, they said there's been some confusion with your payment. And I said, this has already been worked out. Like, I don't understand the issue. And they're like, well, until we figure it out, you can't get back in your room. Sorry. And I said, okay. Well, um, you better let me back in my room. And they said, yeah, we're not going to do that. And I said, um, you have to let me back in. And again, they're like, no, we don't. And I said, well, fine. I'm too tired. I don't want to deal with this right now. Um, I'll just go stay in my friend's room because he stayed at the same place as uh, I asked, I said, well, can somebody escort me to my room so I can get my medication and my wheelchair charger and things, like necessities for me? And they're like, no. I said, you mean to tell me, first of all, you screwed up. Second of all, I am willing to listen to you right now because I am tired and I have somewhere else I can go. But number three, you're not going to roll... You're not going to let me go get my medication and my wheelchair charger and everything? Like, what? And I said, well, why not? They're like, well, you could stay up there. You'll never come back down. I said, all right, so then escort me up there so I can leave. No. Finally, one of the security guards said, you know, you should go back and get her medication and her charger because if anything happens to her, that could be a liability on us. And the security guard went up, got my necessities. I went to my friend's room. Everything was fine that night. Next day, I wake up, call corporate and everything, and it just turned into this big issue. It it was not good. Like, I get it. Mix-ups happen. Things like that happen. But the fact that you really wouldn't let... You would not let me go get my medication, at least. Shame on you. I even tweeted out to the Marriott. And all of a sudden, then they wanted to say they apologize. What can we do to help? It's too late by then. The damage is done. So then the next day, I'm like, she's going to let me back in my room. They're like, oh, we can't do that. We're sold out. We understand what happened, but right now we're sold out. I said, what do you mean you sold out? Then where's my stuff? They say to me, oh, your stuff is still up there in the room. And I said, so obviously you're not sold out if my stuff is up there in the room. And the woman rolled her eyes and gave me my key card because she knew she fucked up. And... I went up there, you know, uh, uh, left the next morning, and as I'm leaving, they're like, were there any complications? We still need, I'm like, you don't need anything from me, and I left. It 
was not good. I don't understand. And I don't really want to shit on all Marriott's because most of the time they're really good. But this particular one seemed to have a lot of issues. And I don't know. It was it was just it was bad. I don't like pulling the uh, disability card, but anybody who has a disability, whether in a chair or not, at least let them, at least you should let them get their medication, or you should be understanding and trying to work something out. It, it was just bad. I did not like the way I was treated, and to kind of wrap things up. I feel like there have been several times in my life where people think they can walk all over me. I don't know if it was the I'm in a wheelchair. I don't know if it's because I look different and people think they can take advantage of me, but I'm getting really sick and tired of people thinking they can treat me any old way. I remember I was at one of the food trucks outside the convention center and it was a really, really long line, and this guy tried to cut in front of me. Of all the other people he tried to cut in front of, he wasn't cutting in front of them, but he definitely cut in front of me because I guess he thought I was stupid or uh, uh, not just physically disabled but mentally disabled. Not that that's a good thing either, but well, maybe the fact that I was on my phone and he didn't think... <coughs> he didn't think I was paying attention. So I looked up and I said, you cut. And he's like, what? I'm like, you cut in front of me. Get in the back of the line. Now, mind you, it was a really, really long line, and this food truck was really popular. I mean, the food was okay. It wasn't worth that line, but it was decent pizza. Anyway, I said, you cut. Get in the back of the line. Um, I, I, uh, I, 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 nothing. Get back to the line. He kind of apologized under his breath, but he went back there. Do I have stupid across my forehead? Do I have a uh, 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 doormat pushover, like, written on my forehead? I don't understand why this happens. Uh, I'd like to think it's to make me a stronger person, but... Also, I think sometimes I can be pretty passive, and I think that I believe in God. I think God is trying to teach me how to stand up for myself and be less passive. Not let people walk over me, walk all over me like in years past. Anyway, that's kind of basically what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about the fact that I felt like I was discriminated. Not only just, or I was not handled correctly. I know I'm not the only one out there who's been dis uh, who's had problems with any kind of situation regarding uh, how they're being treated because of their disability. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I wasn't too scatterbrained and all over the please comment below and tell me some experiences you've had where you felt like you were being taken advantage of because of, I don't know how you look, something about you. Uh, just let me know. Also, I will be leaving links to my Patreon account uh, and my podcast. Now, they don't have anything to do with each other, but if you could donate and become a patron, I have some really cool prizes. Check it out. Link in the description. And also, I started a podcast. The third episode is coming out next Thursday, and it'd be really cool if you guys would listen to my other ones and, and you know, become active listeners because I'm having a lot of fun doing this kind of stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic weekend. Have a great 4th of July. If I don't post anything, then stay blessed. Goodbye. The beat.